Hi, in this video we are going to create a frosted glass just like this in Flutter. Let's get started. Alright, so I've created a new Flutter app and first of all let's add a background image to this container by using box decoration. Alright, as you can see, the image doesn't fit entirely in our background. To fix this, we're going to use fit property and give it boxfit.cover, which scales up the image until it fills the entire background. Then let's center our frosted glass widget by using alignment. You can use center widget as well. And also, the child of the container would be frosted glass box widget, which we're going to create right now. So, create a new file in the current directory. I'm going to name it frostedglass.dart. Alright, import material design and dart UI and create a new stateless widget called frosted glass box. Then we're going to have some arguments such as the width, the height and the child which goes inside our frosted glass. Okay, so let's add them in our constructor as well and also don't forget to mark them as required. Now let's get back to main.dart and give our widget the values. And the child could be anything but for now I'm just gonna give it a simple text widget with some style. Alright, we're done with our main file so let's get back to frosted glass file. Let's replace our container with clip our rig just to give our frosted glass a bit of border radius. The child would be a container with the width and the height which we have just declared earlier and also let's give it a color for now a solid white is okay. So for the child we're gonna use stack because a stack is like layers panel in photoshop. We're going to use it to put different effects on top of each other. Okay so this stack is going to have three children, a blur effect, a gradient effect and a child which goes inside our frosted glass. Also to just make it clear the child goes on top gradient in the middle and blur is the last layer. Alright now let's create our blur effect for the sigma x and sigma y I'm going to give them both the value of 4 and let me mention that the sigma x property is a horizontal blur and the sigma y is a vertical blur. Ok so if we hit save nothing actually happens but if we give it a container as a child the container will stretch the blur effect out until it fits its parent. So now if you look at the edges of the container you can see that the blur effect is applied. And now let's add some gradient as well as a thin semi transparent border to make it more like a glass. Alright, this is the border and now let's lower its opacity. And next, let's give our container a gradient color which starts from top left and ends in bottom right. And both begin and end colors would be white but with different opacities. And also I'm gonna replace our container's color with transparent to see the gradient. There we go, the border that we have just declared here and the gradient. And the really last step is to add a child on the top layer, which I'm going to wrap it with the center and the child is what we have defined in the main file. Let's save and there we go, a nice and clean frosted glass. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you have any questions, feel free to ask in comment section and also you can download the source code from github, the link is in the description. See you later.